Yeah. That's false. And Anton, you be killing stop, me because stop, I be with you stop, till I'm stop, not. Stop, stop, stop. Because stop. I was. I, I need you to take a moment I and think about what I. Take a moment and think about what I just said. Regular and we. Women will. Go, go ahead, Toya. What was you about to say? I said I got me a, a so-called regular smegler. He's got a regular nine to five. Mm -hmm. He's for twenty plus years with certifications in there. We've been married for eighteen years. That's phenomenal. Shout out to y'all. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. But, but guess you. what? But guess what? And I say it on a regular basis. Most women have passed up on the man that they were supposed to be with. It's it's a it's the truth. Most women forego him in order to say they gotta find themselves, or I gotta have my whole phase, or I wanna go and hang out and fly out or do whatever, or go and chase a bunch of dudes that don't even give a fuck about them around. And they will forego the good guy in order to be available for the possibility of being a a thing for the guy that don't even really give a fuck about him. It happens every single day, every day. And guys are not necessarily adverse, like adversely um, opposed to marriage. They are fearful of divorce. It's a difference. Men want to be married. The majority of men want to find a woman, chill out, hold them down, whatever, whatever, build up together and do that. They're not, they're, they want to be married, but they're more fearful of divorce. That well, is that's on them. Well, that's on it, them. It is. I don't know. It, that, that, it's, that, it's, it's, that's it's on them. Like if, if, no, yeah, if you're that fearful, it, then, then stop complaining because it's you that's holding yourself back. There are plenty of married people, young people that are getting married. There are people that are marrying regular people. Mm -hmm. We're going to a wedding on Sunday. <laughs> his best friend is marrying my cousins. I'm sorry, his cousin is marrying my my oh, Mary. his cousin Bitch. is marrying oh, my cousin's best Mary. There you go. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Smoke a little bit. Yeah, but my point is this: people are getting married. People are taking that step. If your fear is mm -hmm. holding you back that much, that's totally on you. Leave women out of it until you get over your fear. Stop talking about like, oh, what's going mm -hmm. on? It's like, no, baby, it's you. It's 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 you. you. you you're can't. you're the reason why you can't. No, Go ahead. no, 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 no. You can't tell somebody that's a good person to not be fearful of something that they can't control when the family court system is so involved in what happens in our lives. For, for the longest, literally for decades, we've had examples of good people that are then taken advantage of by the family court system. That's not going to benefit them or their children when women can literally weaponize that against men. For you to not take every risk into consideration, I don't think that that has anything to not do with women when women are advocating against updating the family court laws, even though they got more freedom than they ever had before. Those laws were established at a time where women didn't have the options that they have now. And I think that they should be yeah. updated to more or less reflect what's happening in society. I don't think that that's unreasonable to say, you know what? I need to be very cautious because if I make a mistake, then it can ruin everything that I've ever built in my entire life. I just think that that's just being logical. But I mean, in anything, I mean, I, I can agree with that. But in anything, there's always a risk. There's no reward without the risk. So are you going to, for instance, what, what is the stat on how many people get into a, a fatal car accident every day? Is mm -hmm. that going to stop you from driving? No. No, but it's, you're gonna, it's, you're it's, still, it's you're still, you're still. But but it's lower either, because because either way I, either I, way either way. But my point is this: either way, is you don't have any control of over these other drivers. It is unpredictable. Every time you hit the streets, anything mm -hmm. can happen. Mm -hmm. But that's not going to stop you from getting by, behind the wheel and driving to your steps you want to go. There is risk in taking that step to getting married. But if you go into it fear based, you're already expecting failure. That's on you. You're expecting yeah, it, whereas you're breaking yourself for the shit of fall instead of going into it. Well, just hear me out. Instead of going into it like, okay, what can I give? Who can I be to get the best outcome of this situation? You know what I mean? Instead of instead of like focusing on, well, she can divorce me. How, how about we not even focus on divorce and, and focus on a thriving relationship? I get it. Like it is difficult in the dating space right now but a lot of times 
the focus is on the negative so much, that's all you see. That it, 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 it fills your entire space. When we know, we're intelligent enough to know there are people getting married, they're falling in love, they're finding their people, they're mm -hmm. doing the work. So it's like, why aren't you? Are you so caught up in the negative side of things that you, you're frozen into wanting to take that step into being married? And you know, so all I'm saying is, yes. you can get bet, you can get better outcomes if if your mindset is where it needs to be for the outcome you want. If you go into something expecting the worst, you've already failed. No, I think that that's a bad comparison because number one. Um, 50% of people don't get in a wreck every time they get in a damn car. Correct. That's, that's what I was about to say. Like, <laughs> the, the, the data doesn't support the fact that I'm going to be maimed for the rest of my life as a result of me jump, jumping in a car and going to my What is this that? Do you know? Do, honestly, do you know what this is? That means that'll be wrecks everywhere. Nigga, for 50%. It's a high because, percent, because, listen, listen, I mean, it is a pretty... If I get, if I get a pretty into a car accident, if I get into a car accident, Chances are I'm going to walk away from that car accident. The car might be mangled, but I got insurance against that. I have a much greater chance of being just fine as a result of getting into a car accident. And you have a, a good a lot chance of, guys. of being just fine getting married. No, 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 no. no, no. What, I, what I'm saying, what I'm it's saying a, is, you know, clear. there's risk. You know, there's yeah, risk but either the way. Risk, my, my point is not that men are not willing to not get married. I just think that people are not being realistic about the risk that comes along with after we've seen what's happened to men that's happened before, sure. especially because the risk increases exponentially when you are more successful as a man. You, you see what I'm saying? So when you get in the car, you get in the car, you get in the car. It don't matter if, you, if you're super rich or you're not super rich. When you get in the car, the odds are, depending on wherever it is that you are, that you're going to have the same results. You know, you get in the car, you stop at the stop sign, you have more control over what the situation is. When you get into a marriage, you don't have control over what that other person does, too. So it also be it's dependent on them in order for us to be successful in this thing. And when you become even more successful, the risks increase significantly as far as how you're going to be sure. affected in a way. And so it's not something that you just genuinely just be like, oh, okay, you know what? Well, I, it's just a risk, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and dive into it. That's well, not no, 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 I, no, you, you're absolutely right. Especially when, you know, you, you know, are a high earning man, you have a lot to lose. I totally get that. You should definitely vet properly, but don't let fear of divorce stop you. If, if, if having a marriage and having a family is what you truly want, be intentional about it. Whether you are a regular person making regular money or if you making Cam Newton money, either way, you're fear based mm -hmm. and you're not mm -hmm. getting what you want based on your own fears. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. If you let that fear cloud you, you're never going to go take that risk. You're never going to. You're, you're always going to. You're, it's always going to be in your think mind. About, you're, you're always going to think, well, she can divorce me. Yeah, yeah, you're always so you're expecting. I don't believe right it. Well, and, well, and we're and we're assuming that the fifty and we're assuming that the fifty percent of people who are getting divorced that the men really vet it well in the first place. I think that if you put more energy into really picking the woman properly and being honest about the way that you plan to carry yourself as a husband and her as a wife and make sure that those two things match. Then I think that some of those numbers will come down but too. You also got to remember though, Carrie, one thing that y'all not taking into consideration is the other person because the woman has to make herself attractive for marriage. And why would there you mean be any, to? Why, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because y'all missing it. Why, why, why should men even take that into consideration with the, with the low barrier to entry and y'all giving it away for free anyway? Because it's not, because y'all got to remember. No, no, no. Hold on. Let's remember. The standard for marriage has been so devalued because there are no real people that are, there are no real women that are truly available for marriage. First of all, it used to be that no other man had known you. Like the, the standards for marriage. Oh my so God, Anton. Hold on, hold on. You sit this one out. And now I'm virgin shaming again. That's this where is, we're this going. Is, this ain't your lane. This ain't your lane. Go back. You're not a virgin, corner. so you're not even a good woman to start out Corner, with. That's what helmet. Trigger, corner, helmet. 
<laughs> trigger corner helmet. You knew your you knew your wife in high trigger, school. You trigger you, you corner cheating. helmet. Did you get your mouthpiece? That is so rude. Stop. Oh, well, that is not gentlemanly. In the middle of what I'm trying to, because I'm starting to forget my point. I apologize. For That's you. true. That's, That's true. true. All right. Go so ahead. now we're on the same page. But the point that I'm trying to make is <laughs> the barrier to entry is so low. And if y'all busting it down for a real one and he got all of the best of you, and then you want to start to change your standards to where you want to have a higher quality of life or you want to start making the barrier to entry a lot harder for another guy that, I mean, it, Y'all not taking all of the factors into consideration when we trying to talk about marriage in general. I don't think that y'all being realistic. And so when y'all say is the expectations outsized for women that are looking to be married, I I, I think that they are. They absolutely what? are. You what got these average my... women, for example, you got these average fucking women that have these crazy expectations that, and they want above average men. Like average attract is supposed to attract average. What the fuck is like like we not taking all that is definitely not the problem. I think I think when it comes to marriage, like ultimately when a man decides to get into marriage, he in his mind is gonna get hard, he's gonna suffer, he's take care of the family, and that's what it is. That's why we I feel like that's probably why men stay in it longer. We expect it to be hard hard and to suffer through it. But on, women expect their Quentin, I I got a question. What do y'all think that y'all deserve? I mean, like my daddy. Yeah, I ain't never felt no, like no, that. No, 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 no. I ain't never felt what like that. What do y'all think that y'all deserve? Honestly. What do you mean? You don't, you don't, well, you, 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 gotta, you gotta expand. You don't, no, 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 no. I don't even listen, expect this stuff. I don't want to make this personal. I'm world. not saying to answer and it from your own personal perspective. But when you speak it in general to women in general that you see every single day walking down the street, what do y'all think that they deserve? We don't know. That's up to. I, I, I think they just oh, deserve a regular, a regular dude trying to make a living. They bring life into the world, whether they choose to or not. But, they but, have but, the ability, and for that, but, they deserve the world. But and, you, and what, what, no, we, but see, nobody see, else can determine the world. No, 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 no. Listen, because she, she, no. Be specific. What do y'all think that y'all deserve in a man? What does this man? What does this man earn? What is he like? Like, what do you what what do most well, women sure you get four hundred dollar dates? You can't so. say most women, Anton. I'm not speaking for other. Well, women. I'm speaking in general because I don't want them to refer to themselves and use themselves as an example. Mm -mm. Well, I then what do you like? Okay, we can't answer it without saying yeah. you just asked us what do you think we deserve? How All right, are we so let me paint the picture. Let me let me if it's not frame, individually. Let me frame the let me frame the picture of what I think a normal black woman is today. Okay. <laughs> Shit. You're racist. I don't even say you are a racist. I'm racist with because me. I want to paint the picture to give I an example. Like, to answer so, so wait so a minute. I didn't even. I didn't even time. paint the picture yet. Go ahead, paint, paint the picture. it. Come on, let's go. Well, y'all don't even want to answer the question. Is what you basically telling me? No. Go ahead. We Okay. Average woman. Average basic woman. Let's say. 30, 30 year old woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. 30 years old. Um, probably about 210. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> proportions. You feel me? Because I, I have probably... good proportions. I've been 300 and I have good proportions. No, nigga. Wait, what? No, nigga. Ain't no reason. So I'm just saying, like, what she look like? Is, is it, there is ain't it, no like 300 proportion to nothing, nigga. Like she's seven foot. Wait, nigga. Two ten, Anton, be realistic. Come on, let's be realistic. He just told you. Two ten. I think that two ten is a normal thirty year old black woman because you're going to have something that some that's way more like Trigger just said she was three hundred, right? That's re that's more wild. What, no, no, listen. Wait, the trigger oh. is tall. We've seen trigger in person. Obesity, obesity. What are you talking about? Up, for, for 300 pounds ain't 300. good for nobody. I don't know fuck how tall you are. Y'all want me to paint the picture or not? Terry said obesity is up. This is black people yeah. shit. This is fucking nigger shit. Wait, you like you white women. Shut up. Hold on. Listen, listen, listen. Obesity is 
You gonna have more that's three hundred. I want a girl Jasmine size. Have, right. she, got she got bones. She got you're gonna have more that's closer to three hundred than you are gonna have. <laughs> trying to get that more that's closer to one fifteen. That's a fact. You're I gonna have that. more that's closer to three than more that's closer to one fifteen. You're exaggerating, Anton. I'm not exaggerating. Listen, when you go outside, these girls are big. Yeah. They are big. And men are cat for saying that. Men, no, men, men, are, are, men are too. Like, oh, I'm not, we're not talking about men yet. Wait a minute. Stay focused. Stay focused. Wait, a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, listen, listen, listen. These women, these women are like. Oh, wait a minute. No, listen. So how about those what you really like? Ah, let me paint the picture. her mic. Like, what the fuck? Let me paint the picture. Let me paint the picture. Because these women are, these women are compact. They like, they like punch keys. They're like. They fucking like they got so much packed in. That little so, running back. And I, and I think it's because they be having them. No, no, no. Listen, know. because they be, they be having them waist trainers on, and so it just packs it all in. It packs it all in. And so, a lot of these women are 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 really compact. Okay, so we'll say two two hundred two ten. Okay, average woman about two thirty years old two hundred two ten. No, let's say like a buck eighty, bro. Like a buck eighty huh? buck ninety. Let's say a buck eighty buck ninety. Okay, one ninety. We'll give them one ninety. We're gonna be generous today. One ninety. Average height is what five six for women. Okay. Forget the fucking height. We don't care about that. <laughs> probably got about they. Pro they probably got a, got a job. They okay. the jobs range any range anywhere from call center to <laughs> travel nurse. Travel nurse. <laughs> no, I'm saying they got it, but they most of them got a job, right? Okay. You may get a child. You may get a child. You may get a child in there. You may get a child oh in there because most my of them, God. Most of them it have says, a child. Most of them. Not all, but it's a mm. strong possibility you can get a get a child in there. Because she probably got a baby daddy. All right. Okay. Forty-five thousand dollars in student loans. Minimum. <laughs> Minimum. What are you talking about? What most women have student loans, and that's why they most women and, time, and they still get listen married, listen okay? this is a statistical a fact, fact. This, is a, still, this is a statistical that fact that ain't stopping yes, nothing man i'm that not ain't stopping nothing man the weight the weight is not stopping these women from getting married there are a lot of big bitches i agree and, but and that's, not we, that's not the, that's not the, the question the, the, the debt that's is not, the not stopping the question. Them. that's not so the question it's, okay it's okay, not whether they're stopping them or not that's not the question Okay. I'm painting the picture of what a what a regular setting up the story. on average oh, black okay. woman is like. They okay. they the most enrolled. Chances are that they got student loans, right? Uh -huh. So on and so <laughs> forth, right? So with that picture, that in a general sense, not saying that that's all women, but that's a lot of women, right? With that general picture, what do you think that that woman deserves? The king, whatever, whatever she deserves. <laughs> well, this, is she is call, this is why they call y'all delusional. This, this is the litmus test. If she is this is why they call y'all delusional. Honest to God. If, if she is giving him or willing to give him okay. everything, she deserves everything. And the thing that I've been making a case for is that that's in women's nature to be giving, to be loving. If y'all are honest, y'all know y'all got aunties. Y'all know y'all got she sisters. Y'all know y'all know a black woman who have given a man who haven't had nothing everything she has she don't got Hard, nothing left got to stop them because it is in our nature naturally to take care of the person we're with especially if we really like them we're going to whatever you give us we're going to multiply it that and give it back to you that's why we give you babies I'm if you telling give us you peace, you're going to give that back to you that is what women yeah, do hold on hold on i'm gonna ask, ask somebody else i'm gonna ask that's somebody what I'm else saying. i want to get carrie okay. and jasmine on here because honest to god these women they built they built like they got a lot of preservatives in their body. <laughs> Some fucking lot of preservatives. You honest need to God, stop. It is, <laughs> no, it is so many preservatives. Like honest <laughs> to God. It's, it's so <laughs> you have to stop it. Oh and you need to Swear stop to it. God, That's why y'all need to vote for Trump because RFK Jr. is gonna address all of this. <laughs> 